So Lee, firstly, how was your summer? How was your time off? Really good. I think it was definitely much needed. Um, come back in with a bit of oomph and ready to get going again. So we're well underway and just need to keep grinding right now. Well underway on, on the grass. How has pre-season started? Not going to lie. It's been tough. A um, few heavy legs, I think, but it looks like we're going to be fit for the season. And I think that's the aim this year, just to keep fitness up there so we can outrun many teams and, and keep the ball better. So it's looking good for now. Yeah, it looks like it is hard work out there. So the coaching staff are running you, are working you hard. Yeah, um, it's definitely up there for one of probably the hardest pre-seasons I've done so far. And as I'm getting older, it's not that easy. So just got to keep pushing through and then it'll be time for the season. So I'm excited for that. And as you said, important to get it in the bank now because then you'll reap the rewards mid-season, won't you? Yeah, I think if I'm the fittest I can be, then playing is much easier for me. So obviously I just want to get to there and obviously the rest of the team can be there so we can enjoy the football we play and just pop it around teams. Lots of new faces in the camp so far. How are they settling in? Really good, actually. I think there's a good group coming in. Obviously, we're still waiting for people to come in from the Euros that have been away and new faces from the Euros. But everyone that's been in recently has been really, really easy to get along with. Really nice people and I'm excited to get to know them a bit more. Talking about the Euros there, how impressed were you with the Lionesses and particularly the players that we had representing them? They played so well. I mean, I watched every game that they played and I think they did, they did it all proud, to be honest. And I know they'll be, they'll be enjoying themselves now, but we're excited to get them back in and get training. Yeah, with, with Alessia and Tooney specifically, were you surprised to see them perform as well as that? Because you see them every single day, so you must be aware of what they're capable of. I wasn't surprised because I know how good they are, obviously, but I think when you're coming on as a sub, it's a lot different to starting a game. And I think they came on both of them every time and, and gave it what for, and they definitely changed the game. So I'm really, I'm really, really proud of them. Yeah, in those high pressure situations, as you said, they seem to know their roles, didn't they, when they came onto the pitch and they delivered each time? I think they both just excelled. And I mean, I can't wait to have them back and just get back on the pitch with them and, and get some of them balls and shots in behind from them. So yeah, I'm excited. With the Euros being as successful as it was, what does that do for the women's sport to, to have a spotlight on the game like that? I mean, you've seen the crowds that were there and obviously a lot of records have been broken. So hopefully it'll bring a lot more, I think, like kids and, and girls that want to play football will definitely come and support the games and hopefully it'll increase, increase like the fan base. So it'd be nice to see more people in the stands. Coming back to you then, with the season fast approaching, how do you approach it? Do you, do you set yourself goals, short term, long term? How do you, what's your build up like? Honestly, at the moment, it's just to enjoy it. Um, and I think if I'm enjoying playing football and I'm enjoying training, like I'll go into games with enjoyment. So that's where I need to be. And I think I'm halfway there. So I'll just keep pushing for now. Leo, well, great to have you back from your summer break and, and good luck for the season ahead. Thank you.